This tutorial will show you how to use a Gmodeler plugin for Google SketchUp. It will show you how to apply GBXML services, openings and spaces and how to export your GBXML file. The first task in the Gmodeler process is to apply GBXML services and openings to your building model. What this basically involves is telling your building model which surfaces are external walls and which are internal wall, floor, roof, window and door surfaces. GBXML services and openings are applied using the SketchUp Paint Bucket tool. Once you have downloaded and installed the Gmodeler plugin for Google SketchUp, two additional folders will be added to the materials palette called Gmodeler services and Gmodeler openings. We recommend that you familiarize yourself with the different materials in each of these folders before you begin to use Gmodeler. So to start applying services, simply select the relevant material from the Gmodeler services folder, for example, external walls, and then simply click on all the services you wish to make external walls and repeat this process for all the internal wall, roof and floor services. Use SketchUp's section plane tool to add interior GBXML services to your building model as shown. You should apply your GBXML services prior to applying your GBXML openings, as an opening requires a parent surface before it can be added as an opening. The first tab on the G model interface is the Model Summary tab. This records how many GBXML spaces, surfaces and openings add in your SketchUp model. For example, every time you add a surface to your building model, the number of surfaces on the model summary tab will increase. You can use this to ensure that each surface, opening and space has been added correctly. Once you have added all of your GBXML surfaces and openings to your building model, you are then ready to add the spaces. You will need to use SketchUp's section plane tool during this process. The first step is to select the surfaces of your space. This can be done using the Select Space tool on the Gmodeler toolbar. And using the Select Space tool, double click on the floor surface of a desired space and all the surfaces of that space should become highlighted. Once highlighted, click on the Create Space tool on the Gmodeler toolbar and you will then be required to name that space. Once you have named the space, click OK and you will notice on the Model Summary tab that a space has been added to your model. When selecting a space with a select space tool, a warning may appear telling you that the space is not enclosed. What this means is not all the surfaces of the space have been selected or that surfaces outside the space may have been selected. Use the Move Plane tool on the G Modeler toolbar to scan the space to locate the missing surfaces of the space. Once located, hold Shift on your keyboard and using SketchUp Select tool, select the surfaces that have not been selected or click on the surfaces that are not part of the space to deselect them. Once you are happy that all the surfaces of your space have been identified, then you can continue to use the Create Space tool to add the space to your model. Continue this process for the rest of the spaces in your building model. Once all of your GBXML services, openings and spaces have been added to your building model, you are then ready to export your GBXML. To do this, click on the Export GBXML tool on the Gmodeler toolbar. Choose your file location and name your GBXML appropriately. The important thing to remember here is that you must ensure to input .xml at the end of your file name to ensure that the file has been saved in the desired GBXML format. 